Here we are again at the Cardinal homepage. Do you remember how to access your own timesheet? I showed you that during your ESS 392 course. If you said the time tile, you are absolutely correct. But now we don't need to access our own timesheet. We need to access one of our employees' timesheets. And that is what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. Start by clicking the Team Time tile. This takes you to the timesheet summary page. And this is where you will search for and then access the timesheets for your direct reports. Most of this is pretty self-explanatory, but let me give you a quick overview of this page, which consists of three sections. First, optionally, use one or more fields within the Employee Selection Criteria section to enter search criteria. This will help you locate a specific employee or a specific group of employees. Super secret hint coming here. Unless you have a large number of direct reports, you can skip this altogether and just click the Get Employees button. But, just so you can see how it works, I'm going to go ahead and enter my position number in the Reports to Position Number field. By doing this, the search is going to find all of the employees that I approved timesheets for. Once the search criteria is entered, click the Get Employees button. Now, let's scroll down and talk quickly about the Change View section. This section is used to identify the day or week for the timesheet you want to view. We also saw this on the timesheet page when you were learning how to complete your own timesheet. So, as a reminder, if you change anything in this section, you have to remember to click the Refresh Summary Page icon. At the bottom of the page, we find the Search Results section. Once a search is completed, all of the employees that match the search criteria entered will display here. In this case, I search for all of the employees that report to my position number. So this is a complete list of all of my direct reports. Wait a minute, do I work at Dunder Mifflin? Nope, I work for the fantastic Commonwealth of Virginia, and this is just a list of fake employees for the purpose of cardinal training. There goes my dream of being Michael Scott. Well, you know what they say, fool me once, strike one, but fool me twice, strike three. Oh well, back to what you came here to learn. From the search results, you can access any of the employee timesheets by simply clicking the link provided in the last name column. Let's go ahead and open up Andy Bernard's timesheet, which is the second person in this alphabetically ordered list. The timesheet page displays for the selected employee and date. You have seen this page before when you learned how to complete your own timesheet, so I'm not going to go into a complete overview of the timesheet again. But what I do need to do is call out just a couple of things here that are unique to you since you are viewing one of your employee's timesheet and not your own. First, you will see two additional links in the Select Another Timesheet section if your previous search resulted in multiple employees previous employee, and next employee. These links are great ways for you to quickly navigate through the timesheets for all of your employees. Remember, we opened up the second employee in the list. Therefore, we see both the previous and next employee links. The other thing I want to touch on briefly is the Apply Schedule button. This button could be helpful if you find yourself entering time on behalf of one of your employees. As you can see, clicking this button will automatically populate the timesheet grid based on the employee's assigned work schedule but it only populates the number of hours. You would still need to select the applicable time reporting code and enter any additional information needed, such as chart fields. I'm not going to actually save or submit this timesheet, but I just wanted you to see how that button works. And that's it. The rest of the timesheet is exactly the same as your timesheet. And now you know how to access your employees' timesheets.